This video demonstrates how I built a tricycle bending cart. I saw these online and uh, they piqued my interest because they look pretty cool. I've never seen one in this configuration. Um, I thought I'd give it a try building one just because the other ones seem so expensive, the ones for sale. What I like about these vending carts is they're easy to get in and out of events. You can park away from the event and they're so mobile you can drive into the event. So that's pretty cool. After doing some research, what I found is these tricycles were very cost prohibitive. If you buy one from a manufacturer, they're very expensive, I think, for what you get. Um, that's, they, they run three to five thousand dollars depending on the configuration you want. And that's really not ideal for somebody who just wants to run a part-time vending business, say on the weekend or something like that. You've got to work quite a bit to recuperate that cost. I just figured I could build one for much less money and I ended up doing just that. I started with this cruiser style Schwinn bicycle for $169. After all was said and done, I built my entire tricycle card for about $600. Now, of course, you'll need basic tools for this project. The only specialized tools, if you want to call it that, were a small welder that I had and a miter saw. I have to say this is the first time ever of me buying something like this, something brand new, and literally cutting it in half. Anyway, that's exactly what I did. I removed all the extraneous parts, like the front wheel, the seat, the handlebars, and then I took it to the uh, chop saw and cut it right in half. This is a steel framed bicycle. I was careful where I cut and tried to avoid having to disconnect anything that I didn't need to and I tried to leave the rear hand brakes, the cables all connected. The handlebars were stubborn to remove and I knew I wanted them in a different configuration anyway, so I simply cut them in half. Being a three-wheeled vehicle, you'll obviously need a third wheel. I ordered a new front wheel, the extra fender, and extra bracket from Schwinn directly. I used standard box steel and flat steel from the local hardware store. Here I am just showing some various techniques of how I work the steel. After laying out the design on paper, I started welding together the base frame for the, for the cart itself. I actually got some of the measurements from documentation I found online from those other manufacturers. One of the hints I got from them was to build the cart narrow enough to fit through a standard 34 inch doorway. Here you can see how I rough fitted one of the wheels, and then you can see the completed frame upside down. It took some time and thought to get the dimensions just right and worked out, but here you can see me sh showing you how I attached the wheels with just a standard uh, bolt. Um, I manufactured, of course, the bracket that is attached to the frame. And here we have the finished cart frame and wheels. You can start to envision how steering will occur. Notice the attachment point underneath for the connection rail. The connection rail attaches the back end of the bicycle to the cart frame. You can see one end is flat and the other end has a piece of pipe welded to it. I lubricate the pipe end as well as a long bolt used to connect the rail to the bracket on the underside of the frame. Once attached, you can further envision how steering will be accomplished. After welding another piece of steel to the bike frame at the point I made the initial cut, I'm able to connect the cart frame to the rear end of the bicycle. At this point, the handlebars are simply resting on the frame and are not attached. As you can see, it's starting to come together. I'd say it's about 75% done here. In this close-up, you can see the attachment point. It's imperative to make this area strong or you risk failure when weight is added to the seat of the tricycle. 
I added extra bracing in the areas indicated with the blue arrows. How you build out your card is completely up to you. I simply built this box out of plywood. I built a top lid that lifts up on hinges. I've seen other cards that open up in various ways, maybe from the side. I've seen some cards that are completely open with no lid at all. Here's the finished box mounted to the frame. I bolted it directly to the frame. I attached the handlebars to the box itself after checking for a comfortable position. And here's the finished product. I matched the color of the box with the color of the bike. I also added fenders to the cart. If I need to, I can actually break this cart down into two separate pieces. Here I show once again the attachment point between the front end and the rear end. I wanted to try selling ice cream with my cart. I made sure it was able to accommodate a decent sized ice chest. I estimate this cart will easily handle about 125 pounds of load. As of the time of this video, the cart only has the single original rear brake available. I may upgrade it in the future to add front brakes as well. So finally, the big question, did it work? The answer is yes. I learned some things and would make a few minor modifications if I did this in the future, but I'm very happy with how it performs. So the big question, the big test, so how did all this work out? Well, on the first outing, over a three hour period, I sold $240 worth of ice cream. I made a lot of customers smile, including a lot of kids, so that was very nice. The profit was about $120. I'd say that was pretty good. Thanks for watching. I hope you liked this video.